Hi, so here is feedback um, on your play, which summarizes two texts um, presenting contrasting opinions on whether technology is a benefit or um, not. As I read through it, I'll make some commentary and some patience. Um, okay. Um, the first thing I notice is, um, well, if we just look at the piece as a whole, <clears throat> it's not altogether clear where your paragraphs are. I believe this is the first. This appears to be a second paragraph. This a third. And this a fourth. Um, overall, I think the organization of the piece could use a bit of work. But OK, let's look first at the actual um, writing. Technology and social media are increasingly spreading all around us. Well, that makes it sound like a disease. Uh, diseases spread. We could change the phrasing to say something like, <clears throat> technology and social media are becoming more and more popular or more and more prevalent um, all around us. Or technology and social media are becoming increasingly prevalent nowadays, full stop. There are both advocates and opponents to this phenomenon, phenomenon, <laughs> um, because this is a, an event, it's a, an occurrence, and it's something that's happening. So I would use a singular phenomenon, this phenomenon. In specific, both of the texts have their particular points of view. Thus, the next paragraphs will give a small overview of these. I would just ditch this sentence completely. You really don't need it. Um, it's just kind of extra words. Uh, as the reader reads, we will see what the essay will do. OK, so I would just leave this out. The first text suggests that social media has a negative impact on people's social life. And I'm not sure if that's an apostrophe fee, but remember, peoples, it's a plural, and then you'd need a, an apostrophe as, after the, um, you need an apostrophe after the S, I believe, uh, on people's social life. Uh, it makes the point that individuals choose their phones instead of actual interaction with other humans. Uh, it works. Uh, it works against social places being turned. Oh, it, sorry. It warns against social places being turned into non-social areas. Okay, the second text suggests that thanks to social media, one is able to get to know more about people as um, one would ever be able commonly. I think, well, hmm, that doesn't read very well. Let's say, um, the second text suggests that thanks to social media, one is able to um, come more into contact with other people, or one is more than ever able to become acquainted with other people and their habits. It outlines the possibility, and, and maybe instead of constantly using it, it, which can become a bit confusing for the reader, we wonder, wait, what's it again? Um, you could indicate um, this text outlines the possibilities of developing a better understanding of each other socially and claims that social media could actually um, connect people more. Okay, it outlines the possibilities. I guess I'd use a different word, the possibilities of developing. I, I would say something like the possibilities um, In, de in developing a better understanding of one another socially. And it claims, there I would use the it, because here you've made clear the second text, and it claims that social media could actually connect people more. Uh, in my opinion, the first text makes a convincing argument. It emphasizes the point that people have increasingly less human interaction. However, it completely ignores the positive 
sides of technology. I guess I would use the word aspects. Mm, I think that's a nicer word. The positive aspects of technology and social media. I agree that people spend too much time on their phones and are too dependent on technology in general. And maybe then a, a, a negating linker or an opposing linker, but at the same time, however, at the same time, technology enables us to be in touch with people um, all the time and more personally. So maybe that could be put somewhere else. At the same, but at the same time, technology enables us to be in touch with people more personally all the time or constantly. The second text supports that idea. It acknowledges that being linked through technology makes people more communal. In conclusion, I think that although technology takes too big a uh, part of our lives, it also has many benefits. I would change that to say, um, I think that although technology does occupy too great a part of our lives, it also does have many benefits. Additionally, it might even enable us to be better conversationalists because social media gives us deeper insight into people's private lives. And again, don't forget your apostrophe. Um, well, okay, this isn't bad writing. I just think we need to work on the organization a little bit. Make clear uh, you've got one introductory sentence. So perhaps this is a first paragraph. This sentence and then uh, this here. And then the second paragraph further um, explains and illustrates what the texts argue as well as what you are arguing. And then the conclusion hits the point home with two last sentences um, and make it clear uh, that you know there are spaces in between the paragraphs so the reader knows where your thoughts begin and end, essentially. All right, hope the feedback helps. Goodbye for now.